Hey guys, in this video we're going to cover uh, an important part of not only PHP but programming in general, and that's conditionals. All right, so conditionals are used to test for something, test for a value, compare compare stuff, whether it's uh, comparing if it's equal to something or greater or less than. Um, and we're going to go over all the different comparison operators as well. Okay, so I'm going to create a new file in PHP Sandbox, and I'm going to save it as conditionals.php. Okay, let's open up our PHP tags. And we're going to, actually let me just put a comment in here. And now I'm going to specify the different types of comparison operators. So we have equals, which is a uh, double equals. And then we also have this triple equals, which matches not only the value, but also the data type. Okay, so this is actually identical. And then we have less than, great, whoop, greater than. We also have less than or equals to. We have greater than or equals to. We have not equals to, and we have not identical. Okay, so let's go ahead and try some of these. I'm just going to create a, a variable called num, and I'm going to set this equal to 5. Okay, so if we want to test to see if this is equal to 5, we can do if, and then we can do num is equal to 5. Okay, and if that's true, let's just echo, uh, let's see, we'll just echo 5 past. Okay, so let's save that, and then let's go to localhost slash php sandbox slash conditionals.php. Uh, whoops, I forgot the O. Okay, so we get five passed because, of course, num is equal to five. Now, for this one here, identical, I'm going to show you if I change this to a string, okay, and I just put quotes around it and we reload, it still passes, okay, because this is just testing the value, not the data type. Now, if I put an extra equals in there and we reload, it doesn't pass because this is an integer and this is a string. Okay, and this, this tests for it to be identical. All right, we can also do, uh, let's see, let me just take that off. We can also do, let's say, uh, greater than. So if num is greater than five, if we reload, it, we don't get anything because five is not greater than five. Uh, if I were to say greater than or equal to five, then that's gonna work. All right, we can also test if it's not equal to so if I change this to 52 and reload, it's going to pass because num is not equal to 5. All right, so this is very basic stuff. So let's, uh, let's add another equal there. And let's say else echo, and we'll just say uh, did not pass. Okay, so if we save that and reload, we get 5 passed. If we change the num to, let's say, 6, and reload, we get did not pass. Now, if we wanted to test for another value, we could also do an else if. So let's go on this line and say else if, uh, and then go like that, and let's say num is equal to 6. And then we'll just echo out six passed. Okay, so now if we save that, we get six passed. If we change it to five, reload, we get five passed. If we change it to four, we get did not pass. All right, so that's very, very basic if else and else if. So let's comment this out. Now you can also nest if statements. So let's say nesting if, and let's do num equals five, and then we'll just do if num is, let's say, uh, yeah, greater than five. And then in here, we could actually keep putting if statements, as, my, as many as we want, and we'll say if num is, let's say, less than 10. 
Actually, let's do greater than 4, less than 10. And then in here, we'll just echo and we'll say num passed. Okay, so if we save that and reload, we get 5 passed. We change it to 6, reload, we also get 6 passed, okay, because it's, it's still greater than 4, uh, but less than 10. Now, this isn't ideal. There's a better way we could, we could do this, and that's by using logical operators, okay? We can put more than one condition in one if statement. So let me show you what I mean. And I'm first just going to show you the logical operators. So we have AND, which can also, can also be formatted as a double ampersand. We have OR, which could be the double pipe characters. And we have XOR, which is exclusive OR. So a better way to write this would be to do one if statement and then do if num is greater than four and num is uh, less than 10. All right, and then we'll just do the echo num passed. Okay, so I'll comment this out. save that and reload and we still get six passed okay so this is a much better way to write it than this now we can also use the double ampersand okay um, now if you wanted for instance this if to have an else then you would want to nest it because you'd have to put this else in here and then you would do echo you know whatever all right so we also have or uh, which means that one of these has to be true. So let's do that. We'll put in our double pipes or the word or and save that, reload, and we get six passed, okay? Because uh, one of these is true. Even if we were to, let's say, make one of these false by saying, uh, let's see, two, because it ha remember it has to be greater than four, two isn't, but if I reload, it still passes because only one of these has to be true okay and then we also have exclusive or or x or which means that one of them has to be true but not both so if we save this that sh this should pass because one of them is true but if we were to change this back to six which makes it true for both and we reload it doesn't work all right, so just remember that an XOR means that one has to be true, but not both. All right, so let's take a look at switches now. Okay, let me just comment this out. Okay, so switches will test for a value and then uh, it'll test it with different cases. And depending on which case matches, it'll do something whatever you want it to do so let's say switch and what we'll do is create a variable I'm gonna call it fave color and we'll set that equal to red okay so let's say we want to test for this fave color value we can put in switch and we want to test fave color Okay, now let's specify a case. So we'll say case, actually do single quotes, case red. Okay, and then we want to put a colon right here and then whatever we want to happen if it's red. So let's say echo, uh, we'll say echo your favorite color is red. Okay, and then you just want to put in a break when you're done with whatever that functionality is. Okay, so that's one case. Let's go ahead and copy this. And we'll paste it in. Let's do three more times. So this will be blue. And change this to blue. And let's say green. All right, so this bottom one here, I'm actually gonna change this from case red to default. And then let's echo out 
Um, let's see, we'll say your favorite color is something else. Okay, and we actually don't need the break here. So basically it's testing the fave color. If it's red, this will happen, blue this, green this, and then if it doesn't match any of those, the default will fire off. All right, so let's go ahead and save that, and I'm sure you know what's gonna happen. We get your favorite color is red. Okay, we change it to blue. And reload, your favorite color is blue. Change it to green. Your favorite color is green, and then anything else, for instance, yellow, will say your favorite color is something else. Okay, so pretty simple. So that's going to be it for if statements and switches. In the next video, uh, we're going to talk about dates and formatting dates and how to create dates from strings and so on. All right, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.